Howdy, this is David Gross, your Texas Tax and Lawman. Have you ever been in one of those situations where you think it just can't get any worse? Well, dealing with the IRS, it makes us feel like the two chumps in a home alone. Every time we figure out the IRS's tricks, they come up with some new way to make it worse. Back in March of 2021, I alerted us to the IRS mailroom backlog of 23 million pieces of unopened mail. Well, believe it or not, things can always get worse with the IRS. Commissioner Charles Reddick appeared before Congress just this month in December 2021 and admitted that the IRS has 9.6 million unprocessed paper returns. <laughs> Let me say that again. The IRS has 9.6 million unprocessed paper returns. They are sitting in storage trailers outside the IRS offices. Not opening our returns is wrong. But even more heinous is the bogus practice of suspending returns. As an attorney, there's no provision in the tax code giving the IRS the power to suspend a return. But nevertheless, Commissioner Reddick says the IRS has suspended an additional 5 million paper and digital returns and has not processed them. I would like to say this is a bad joke or a theoretical problem, but we have actual clients who have timely filed their returns and are due refunds, but the IRS has deemed their returns suspended and refused to take action. No amount of calling or letter writing has broken through the log jam yet. Obviously, we are not alone. Congress sent a letter signed by 99 representatives to the IRS demanding that they get back to work and do their job before we have another year of returns flooding the unmotivated and unorganized IRS. Until they do, we feel like the bumbling burglars getting beaten up at home alone. Until next time, adios. Texas Tax and Lawman Legal Disclaimer. Hey, I'm a lawyer. You know I have to have some lawyer mumbo jumbo. This is a general information video, not client attorney privilege information. The content is information only and is not directed to any specific facts or circumstances and cannot be relied upon as a legal opinion, even though that would be nice and save you a trip to the lawyer. If you have a specific legal question, feel free to contact David Gross directly or seek qualified legal or tax counsel in your state of residence, state of mind, or whatever place you call home.